number one Iron Age booty daddy. He said, wait. Uh, you're wrong, Mariosphere Origins. Never forget that communists <laughs> like to co-opt words and they like to change the definitions. And it's why I say, it's one of the things that I say is that people always say that politics is downstream from culture, but culture is downstream from language. And if you do not jealously guard language, you will lose the culture. And people did not jealously guard the language. Okay. You're right. Words cannot be owned, but the common definitions of those words can be changed. And if you do not jealously, community used to be a good word. It's been a good word for many, many years. And it's not been until recently that these communist pricks came in, changed these, well, not even so much commun, well, yes, communists, but they're Marxists is what they are. That's the Marxist ideology. And and that that's where critical theory and then the subsequent critical race theory, critical gender theory, critical identity theory, all that stuff comes into play. But it's the Marxists that came in and co-opted the language, okay? It's why I will not sacrifice the word community to these bastards, okay? They will not change the definition of community, not to me. I will not sacrifice any more ground to the sons of bitches that are looking to ruin my fucking children. You stay away from my kids, and the way that I will keep you away from my kids is by protecting the fucking words and the language that we use to teach my kids. Every word that you secede to these people is one more word they use to destroy your fucking world, and you cannot let them do it. Community 100%. is not a communist word. That's what they want you to fucking believe. They want you to think that they took that word. They want you to think that they own the fucking language and they don't. Do not let them control how you speak. Because when you say that community is a commie word, they have already taken your speech from you and it is small and it is duplicitous and it is something I will not let them do. Based. And and I don't say that in a joking manner. That's that's some like straight from the heart shit that I'm hearing from you right there. Dude, I, I fucking hate it, man. I fucking hate it. My one of my best friends and I, dude, we we would go back and forth all the time. And we still do to this day where I talk with him today. And, you know, a lot of times we talk about a lot of the mundane shit because he and I, we've gotten into the philosophical stuff. Right. And we'll say words and we go, wait a minute, hold on, we'll stop. And we will stop each other. And if one of us has him, because sometimes I talk with him a lot, like while I'm driving, you know, and I'm going to say, no, look up the definition of this word. Let's make sure that. What you're saying and what I'm saying, because if the if the if I said the word and that word doesn't mean the thing that I think it does, I shouldn't be using that fucking word, right? Dictionaries are there for a fucking reason. People, are, what are you gonna go read the dictionary? Yes, motherfucker. Because if I'm not using the language properly, I will use the proper language, and they don't care. They say I will change your language to put you where you belong. And that's what they've done. I fucking hate it, man. I fucking hate it. That's why people go, well, you can't say that. That word doesn't mean that. Yes, it does. No, that word means no, it doesn't. That word means this. It's always meant this. Okay? It changed... Now, if you understand, if you guys have ever understood, uh, and I got into this when I started uh, or reading more into Tolkien, if you understand what philology is and how language breaks down, how it evolves over time, how it changes over time, how different things come together, it's why um, 
it's why a lot of people are like, oh, you know, what? Well, why do we have to speak Spanish in America? Why do we have to? Well, guess what, dude? We don't have a multicultural. Well, we shouldn't have a multiculturalist culture here in America. We should have a culture that is an adaptive culture, like right, an adaptive cultural. That's that experience. That's what America was supposed to be. We bring other people in and then they bring the best parts of their culture and they make the American culture better for it, right? Whether it's their food or their song or their dance or their uh, or their beliefs, and they bring that the best parts of their culture from around the world into America. That's why we were the melting pot, right? America was never supposed to be multicultural. We were supposed to be one culture that could change and grow and be better by the seasoning of the the best parts of other culture, right? We were the melting pot. And from that melting pot, the greatest flavors of the fucking planet would come. And damn it, we were good at it for a long time. And something changed. And I, there, you, people can argue as to what changed and the point that it changed and this, that. And, but the fact of the matter is, is the one thing that people do now is they try to change the words that you use, the daily words that you use. And they try. That doesn't mean what you think it does. Yes, it does. Here's a dictionary. Here's a printed fucking dictionary where that word meant this. Oh, by the way, here's the printed dictionary from 50 years before where that word meant this. You don't get to change it. You don't get to change what I am fucking saying. And this is something that our founding fathers knew. This is something that the most fantastic writers of the last generations knew. You don't change what I say. I said it. These are the words that I said. This is what the word means. You don't get to change it to advance anything that is countercultural to me and this is the duplicitous bullshit they tried to do with tolkien it's what they keep trying to do with our constitution which by the fucking way it sits next to me every night i do a fucking video you don't get to change the words that people said if they adapted over time because we might have a different understanding today you go back and you read what they meant not what you want it to mean. That's the commie fucking bullshit. Do not secede language to these fuckers. It's part of the reason that I don't like when people say community and I am not attacking you, Miria Sphere Origins. I am not. I am not. And I apologize. This is not an attack on you in any way, shape, or form. In any way, shape, or form. Okay? This is an attack on the idea that when they change a word, we have to run away from it. Like scared little bitches, like good little conservatives. That's why I hate the fucking word woke. You know, the word woke was around six fucking years before it was ever used on Fox News. They proudly proclaimed they were woke six years before conservative media used it. And then conservatives, like the good little bitches that they are, picked it up and decided they were going to use it as a way to trash them. And every time you use the word woke against them, they proclaim how proud they are to be woke. That's why I say they're not woke. They are participants in the fourth great religion. Why? They fucking hate religion and they act like they're a part of one. You don't let them use words and change your language. Don't let them fucking do it. It's detrimental. It's so detrimental. And it's terrifying. The words that we say mean something. And for those of us who use a lot of them, and I fucking do, dude. I mean, if you see the psychology of the world, I talk more in my day than most women do. On the average, I probably use more words in a day than my wife does because of how my brain is wired. Words fucking mean something. And that doesn't mean that I don't get shit wrong. And that doesn't mean that I don't stumble sometimes. 
but that's why that's one of the reasons i tell people i do my sunday live stream and i fuck if i fuck some shit up if i get something wrong you call me out on it you don't you don't just agree with me. You don't just agree with Darkus. You don't agree with Ronan. You don't agree with your best friend when he says a word. You say, stop, hold on. Let's look up the definition of this. Let's make sure that we agree on it because otherwise, you if you secede the language that we use to understand each other, you sacrifice the culture and thusly sacrifice future generations to this shit. You cannot do it. Guard language guard words jealously jealously do not sacrifice the words that you use to these people don't do it it's too important don't do it i beg you okay i can't do this alone i can't the shit that's going on, it's too big for one guy. It's too big for a couple of guys. It's too big for a hundred guys. The shit that they're doing. Teach your kids. Words are important. Buy them dictionaries that are before the 1970s and then after the 1990s and show them there is a natural evolution to language. There is a natural evolution. And that natural evolution should be accepted. And what the Marxists are doing is they're trying to tell you that the way that they are radically altering the language is how language adapts. And it is not. It is not how language adapts. It's not how words and definitions change slowly and alter over time. There is a natural way that these things happen. We can see it. Study philology. Learn what philology was. Know how things adapt and change with cultures and times, okay? And events. Believe it or not, I was one guy that used to hate the word twerking because I thought it was stupid. And when I learned what philology was and how things, we literally just came up with a word to shorten the way to say a girl is shaking her ass. It's it literally, and I know that this is a serious rant that might make some people laugh, but it's literally, that's a natural evolution of language. Taking the word community and turning it to communist is not natural. It was done overnight. Take it back. Do not secede another inch of ground from these bastards. Don't let them take another fucking inch. And use your words. Because if all of us here can agree, we know that stories are told from words on a page. If you want good stories to come back, you make sure that those stories are bound in a language that we all understand. It's why Marvel and DC are lost because they let the words flow differently every day. They mean something different. Don't be like them. Guard the words that you use jealously. Uh, breathe, breathe. Breathe, Royce. Breathe. I, I'm not getting blamed again because you don't have a Sunday coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much for checking out this video. Never forget, if you would like to be a part of my supporter live streams, head over to my Gilded or my Locals. Links down in the description. And you guys can join me for those live streams every single Wednesday. But right now, I would love to say thank you to everybody who is supporting me. Over on Locals, we've got Little Andean, Sword Rush, Frequency Studio, Katie Francis, Kikomon, Iron Age Media. We also have over on the Gilded, JP, the Myriosphere Origins, Skunk's Workshop, and the Gold Tier. He is an Iron Age booty daddy. Trippy Soul, also another Iron Age booty daddy. Kikomon and Frequency Studios to round all of it up. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here on the channel, and I will see you all in the supporter live stream streams.